make sure y'all subscribe. Hope y'all having a beautiful day. Support us on the Patreon. It's fun. Look at all those beautiful names up there. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Redemption 46 Studios. I'm Nick. Y'all seen the thumbnail. Y'all seen the title. Y'all know why y'all here. Seven Sins Dripping. This is your first time on the channel. Hit that subscribe button. Come on, Redeemer today. For more content like this, jump on the Patreon. I am getting into the live performance of this today. So you're going to want to go on there. Patreon has all our live performances, dance practices, guides, interviews, and other stuff. Mostly stuff that gets blocked on YouTube. So, you know, if you want to support us, go over there. Dripping Seven Sins. Um, what was I? I think I was on the Patreon and I was somewhere else. Um, and this was like three weeks ago right here and i had people telling me you know dripping seven cents dripping seven cents it kind of was like everywhere um and i wanted to jump into it um if this is a banger y'all don't gotta worry at some point the other guys are jumping and, and kind of take a look at this uh for some of these newer reactions when i can't get the whole panel together i'm gonna be jumping on so that way i can kind of get you guys content a lot faster hope you guys enjoy the new setup um, but yeah, let's jump into the song and have a conversation when we are done. Woolum. That's a epic highs label. Anytime anybody got like those lower rating hats on or little hats like that, the choreo gonna get crazy. I feel sexy. I'm fucking having a blicky spinning around. <laughs> this song got like a nice melody. It makes me feel like I can sing along with it. Like 
fucking shoot me, bro. <laughs> I like the switch up at the end. Ironically, that's the most replayed part. That falsetto was crazy. Definitely jumping into the live version of this. When I got to that flow. was a banger oh, where's the, the information at for that more here that that was a banger this was a good first um like look at for a group um i love when you first hear a group you kind of let me rephrase that i love when you first go into a song from a new group and they start hitting off all like the check marks that need to be hit off for like a banging ass group um, if y'all have been a long time watching on the channel, y'all know we got what we call like the proverbial checklist. That means like the group is talented first, which means they can either sing or they can rap. Um, outside of that, it's just like, you know, what's the production sound like? Um, what are the visuals like, you know, are, are they unique? Like what's the style? Um, what's the, the context matter of like the song and everything like that? And they were checking off everything. Um, Dripping, formerly known as Woolen Rookies and W Project 4 is a boy group. It's a boy group group <laughs> under Willem Entertainment. I think Willem, if I'm not mistaken, is like a part of SM or, or SM bought them. Group currently consists of six members. Damn, my God, Alex left already? <laughs> So the seven were first introduced to Project X 101. I feel like that's something the Redeemers talked about before this show. Um, they debuted on October 28th, 2020 with their first mini album. Fandom's name is Dreamin'. Drippin' Dreamers. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I ain't gonna do too much looking. Y'all can give me some more information in the comments about this because I am definitely gonna go um, like take a look at these. Make sure y'all join the Patreon because I'm it's gonna be up and it's gonna be stuck. I'm about to go take a look at that once I'm done. Um, this was cool, nice and slow. I automatically thought of Usher. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I like this. Excuse me. I like this for so many reasons. One, I thought the video um, was so well shot. Um, I love the choreography um, that was going on, too, with the guys. I like the aesthetic. I like the lays. Um, the song feels feels sexy, but it feels clean. Um, they had the blickies out, too. They feel a little grown. Like, this isn't, uh, like, and obviously, it said the group's been out since 2020, so maybe I might have missed some of, uh, like, you know, the schoolboy look or something like this. This felt... This felt a little groaner than kind of just, you know, kind of like the perennial, like, kind of boy bandish, uh, like, behavior you might get from some groups when they first come out. You know, like, some K-pop groups that go through, like, that adolescent phase, and then they kind of get more into the sexiness, kind of like three or four years down the line. I guess I'm coming in here in the sexy era, because this shit is different. Um, I like this though, man. I just like the the cadence, the vibe, and the feel. Like this just has some good like synergy. It automatically makes you move like slow. Um, I thought that was decent too. Um, rap line. Um, I love when you can hear and distinguish um like different members' voices, where um. Obviously, it's cool, you know what I mean, when people can kind of play off of each other well and sometimes have, like, the same voices when they're on tracks. Um, but I like when you can differentiate, like, each other's, like, different members' voices. And I felt like a, a couple of different falsettos you kind of can just distinctly hear. Um, so it sounded, all I have to say, it sounded like they complemented each other very well on the track. Um, 
I'm interested to see a little bit more of the choreography. I already know with MVs, we kind of get a little bit of a mix of everything. But this was super dope, man. Um, I like this a lot, man. Shout out to the stylists, too, man. I always talk about in K-pop, this shit is so hard like to, to dress at this point because it seems like everybody did everything. Um, but I felt like they did a very good job of making the guys seem pers like the personality kind of oozed through some of like the clothes and everything. But it still was it still was set up enough to where they looked like they were a complete group. Um, no, no particular standout for me. The line distribution felt real even and everything. This was a good first watch. This is a. Uh, it feels good when you jump into a new group and like you kind of like everything that's going on because you want to get into a little bit more. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to long talk y'all too much, man. This was decent. Um, tell me what other tracks they got. I kind of want to get a little bit more information about them. Um, and I know y'all going to do that for me in the comments. Um, also, go join the Patreon. I'm about to jump into the live performance of this so that way I can get a little bit more of the choreography. Because this look cool. This look like this might be a candidate for um for a choreo battle. Uh, but yeah, no long talk, man. Y'all already know what we get into. Um, love y'all, Redeemers. Mahalo at y'all. Peace. Let me bring this back. Sex.